Hello and welcome to today's lesson. We are going to take a look at the diversity of things around us. Diversity. What's the meaning of diversity? Well, look at the things around you. How many kinds of things do you see in a day? Tens, hundreds, thousands. You're right. The world is made of many kinds of things. Some of them are alike, and some are different. Yes. Can you please tell me more? If you look at the things around you, you'll notice that they are very different in many ways. Look at a kitten and the pen that you are using. A kitten needs food and water. It can grow and it can die. It can move, but a pen does not need food and water. It cannot grow and it cannot move. Things you see around you are either Living or non-living. Living things are things that are alive. The kitten is an example. Animals and plants are living things. Things that are not alive are non-living things. The pencil is a non-living thing. Right. Let's see if I'm able to identify the living and non-living things. Now that you are able to identify living things from non-living things. Let's move on to more examples. Animals, plants, and fungi are living things. They need food and water to grow. They are able to move on their own. Non-living things cannot move on their own. You can see many examples of non-living things around you. Can you name some of them? Yes, I can. Did you have breakfast this morning? You need to eat and drink so that you can grow. A kitten will grow into a cat. A seed will grow into an adult plant. So the boy and the girl will grow into a man and a woman. Correct. Do you know that both plants and animals move about? Plants move. I know that animals move around. But how do plants move? Animals move from place to place to look for food and water. Plants move in a different way. They do not move from place to place like the animals. Only some parts of the plants move. For example, the shoot or stem of plants grow towards the sky to get sunlight. The leaves of a mimosa plant close when touched. However, non-living things do not move by themselves. Living things respond to changes around them. How do you feel on hot and cold days? Do the animals around you respond in the same way as you do? Hmm. I normally hide in the shade when it is too hot to go out. My little kittens like to stay indoors when the weather is hot too. Right. Besides this, living things die too, whereas non-living things do not die, and living things have young. They reproduce. Wow! Living things can do so many things which a non-living thing cannot do. That's right. Can you remember the things that a living thing can do? Yes, I can. Let's recall what you have learned. We have learned that the great variety of things around us is called diversity. Things around us are either living or non-living things. Animals and plants are living things. Living things need air, water, and food to grow. Non-living things do not need air, water, and food. They do not grow. Living things move by themselves. Non-living things do not move by themselves. Living things responds to changes. Non-living things do not respond to changes around them. Living things die. Non-living things do not die. Living things reproduce. Non-living things do not reproduce.